The Danville Bears enter new territory in their 28th game of the season, as in playing catch up all game long in the state championship game. And in the end, the end result is something new, their only loss of the year. It's the worst feeling ever. I mean, we worked hard all season, and then at the end, just didn't come through, and we didn't do what we normally did through the whole season. Did you feel like, I mean, uh, you're going to rally? I mean, you felt like, I mean, the offense was, you were running it smooth, and you were patient at, most of the time to, tonight, too. I mean, did you feel like, you know, we've got enough in the tank to come back? I mean, yeah, I mean, our offense when it's normally there, it's just defense. Like I said, defense was not there tonight. Well, tell me what the message is coming out of this whole season, too. I mean, uh, well, so many highs, I guess, too. What do you file away as uh, some of the important moments of your life uh, in this experience? Well, I love my whole team. I mean, we've been playing since we were in third grade, and this is great. I love my whole team. What's the message that comes out of a season like this, too? You know, uh, not everybody gets to get down here, obviously, too. It's, I mean, it's, it stings right now, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, as you look at the big picture, what, what do you think is going to settle in for you? I mean, yeah, we didn't, win, uh, we didn't win the championship, but, I mean, working with the team throughout the whole season and making it here twice and, and uh, making it almost our sophomore year, I mean, it's still a great accomplishment. What's it been like with the town, too? I mean, uh, you have so much great support. I mean, uh, it was really evident tonight. Oh, yeah, our, our crowd is wonderful. I mean, they always come to every game no matter what, how far, they're always there. What is uh, kind of the thing that got you to this point? What are some things, you know, that were consistent uh, throughout the year? I mean, defense. Defense was our focus the whole year, and that's what brought us here. We just, uh, we just choked in this game with the defense. So. Tell me what's been enduring as a program, too. You guys have uh, really been managed to have great teams every year. What makes you good every year? Yeah. Just working hard in the offseason, really, just coming in and doing what we got to do and getting it done. So we still had a good season, but it's disappointing that we didn't finish it out this year or last year. So uh, hopefully we can just rebuild and uh, get, try to get back here next year. Tell me what was going on out there tonight. I mean, you hung with them uh, early. Obviously, it was kind of a seesaw battle. Some cold shooting, I guess, that uh, really burned you guys. Yeah, we just weren't executing our stuff on offense. It was a little struggle for us. Foul trouble got us a little bit in trouble there in the first half and then carried into the second half and we just weren't playing our game out there really. How about defending too? There were a couple hiccups out there too. They, they, they had a few uncontested shots I guess too. And defense is kind of one of your forte. Yeah, uh, we just weren't in the right positions defensively sometimes and it kind of, they made us pay. As you look at the ebb and flow of this season, there's so many highs I guess too. What sticks out as some of the great moments for you guys beyond the wins? You know, I mean, uh, you guys are kind of a brotherhood out there. You really get along great. Yeah, it was just team chemistry. You know, everybody relied on each other and it was great playing with those guys. This, especially Play the seniors now being there last year. Now obviously, I mean, you guys have built something that's enduring year after year, too. Why is it good every year, do you think? What are some of the elements that make Danville so good every year? I think it's the off season. A lot of guys focus on basketball, and we try to get better each time we go out there and play and try to continue it game by game. How? What's the stinging feeling like? You know, you invest so much time into this, too, and then, you know, the other team did, too, obviously, too, but somebody's got to lose, but, you know, it was in your it was in your gun sights, right? You know? Saying, like, it was within reach, I guess. Right, you know, now we just got to move on and try to keep rebuilding and get back here next year if we can. Yeah, we just didn't make any adjustments to how the game was being officiated. Uh, you know, we, we got to be a little bit tougher around the rim. Uh, we got to be a little bit tougher in our rebounding, uh, maybe a little bit better in our decision makings. But, uh, you know, it's you're at the state finals, and, you know, it's just 16 and 17 year old kids. You know, who knows what they're going to do? And, that's just two years in a row that we've been down here. We just have not adjusted to how the game is being officiated. We got to do a better job of that. Mm -hmm. How about defending tonight too? There were, were there any hiccups tonight that you said you know we 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 had to tighten up a little? I don't think so. I, you know, what, what frustrates a coach is, you know, on, on the one end, you you uh, you go for a basket and you get mauled, but but you come back on the other end and they call a reach in at half court. You know, it, it, we don't adjust to that. We got to be tougher taking the ball to the basket if that's not what's called. At the same time, we can't reach at half court. So we have to do a better job officiating, you know, adjusting to officiating. We haven't done it two years in a row. We come up here and get in foul trouble two years in a row. We got to do a better job at it. Boyden Hall's just too good. There's a bunch of guys who invest a lot of time, coaches, players, and stuff too, and to kind of be denied like that two years in a row. When, when you do have a great team, you had a great, you had a great team, you, you compiled a great team, they did the work and stuff too. What's the emotion now as you as you kind of reflect? No, they're great kids. We're going to lose some good seniors. We got a we got a great team coming back next year. We're, 
if the kids play as hard and work as hard as they did this summer, we'll be back here next year. We got uh, we got uh, five kids coming that played a lot this year coming back, and uh, we got a couple of kids from the JV squad that'll step up. We'll be very good next year again. So, God willing, we'll be back a third time. <laughs> How enriching is this part of your career, you know, that you get to be around? I mean, some coaches don't don't get down here, too. I mean, uh, when you got into education, was this uh, say, hey, that's out there somewhere? Is it for me? Is it even possible? Well, the first two trips we did, we came down here and made it look easy. We won. <laughs> the last two trips we've lost. So that's, that's the humbling point of it. But, yeah, it's, you know, to, to be around these kids and, and to watch them play in, in the state final two years in a row, it, it's, it's really, uh, as a coach, it's all you can ask for. Um, I always say winning a state title is gravy on the biscuits, you know. It's that little extra. And, and we like gravy on our biscuit. We just haven't been getting any. <laughs> mm -hmm. And obviously the fans are phenomenal. The community really embraces you guys. Yeah, yeah it's a good fan. It's a good family atmosphere in Danville. It's good fans. Uh, they support us all year long. we got great kids like those three. And, you know, it's just it's a phenomenal place to be.